Are you looking for sealed product and singles? You can find it all on Channel Fireball. Please use my Tailman affiliate code when checking out to help support my content. Looking for PTGO codes? Photon Store has all the latest sets and promos instantly delivered to your email. You can use Tailman code when checking out for 5% off. If you're from Europe, Millipods Gaming has a wide array of sealed products, singles, and more. You can use Tailman code when checking out for 5% off. Hello everyone and welcome back to another stream, an early stream indeed. Telsam2010, thanks so much for watching. We're gonna be playing in the Limitless tournament today. So we'll see how we do in that. I'll be playing the CGI Obstagon for today. Um, I'm gonna write an article about it. I wanna be more familiar with it because I've played a lot against it, but I haven't used it too much myself. Tell us how you did register in time. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, you have a whole week to register. Like they usually open up registration immediately after the next one ends. So you can register like starting later today, probably to the fourth one. So I would definitely recommend you register early rather than wait until the very, very end. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much for hanging out. Hopefully we'll get some interesting games out of this. Uh, oh, you changed your mind because you were too nervous? Okay, I mean, the best way to get away from the nerves and um, like get, um, get used to playing in tournaments is to start playing, right? At some point you have to take that first step. I know it can be daunting, especially with such big tournaments, but this one, the, the fact that it's free, um, there's a bunch of really good players playing. It's like the more experience you get, the easier it'll be, and then you won't be feeling the, the nervousness at all, I hope. Atre, hola, muchas gracias por estar por acá. So the Zero Eye Obstagon, of course, we want to use the Zero Eye to prevent our opponent's Vs and GXs from attacking us and use Plating Arrow to attack them. And we want Obstagon to get extra damage in play, but also to obstruct them in case they're a pure basic Pokemon deck. So we're up against Sergius. Uh, one, two, three, five, two. Sergius, one, two, three, five, two. We've sent a friend request and my opponent's deck list is Eternatus VMAX with three. Oh, wow. My opponent's actually using my exact list <laughs> from Hexter. That is crazy. He's using my exact list from Hexter. He's using the four power plants for Turbo Patch, three bosses orders list, and he only has three spirits, so we know that, right? That's good. He can poison me, I guess, but I do have the big parcel. Uh, Danny Hon, buenos días, muchas gracias por el buen sentimiento. Te lo agradezco mucho. Esperemos que sí. Um, that's so funny that I'm up against my same 60 that I used on Hexter's Monday tournament to get top four. That's like very peculiar. Yeah, so I'm honored that people like like my list and um, play with them. That's very kind. And get wrecked. Oh, that's you? You're, you're, you're Cernias, one, two, three, five, two, get wrecked. I don't have a delay. Um, I don't have a delay on. <laughs> yeah, I, I noticed. I was just talking about that. <laughs> uh, I was just talking about that. Okay, so we're up against Get Wrecked. One, two, three, five, two. Yeah, his nickname when the game is Sturdy. Yes, one, two, three, five, two. Um, so yeah, he's gonna do the fair thing and not watch the stream. He's using my exact 60, like I said. So we'll see if the three spiritons are enough to uh, battle this deck. Sportsmanship at its finest, indeed. 
All right, so this is an interesting dynamic because he can't overdo it with the damage controls on the spirit tomb because I have the Cedua, like the Cedua is bench damage and also off the gun um, damage counter replacement. But he also does need them to do some damage, right? Eh, Daniel, hoy haremos el torneo de Limitless. Hoy estamos jugando el torneo de Limitless. Okay. So I'm just gonna start Drachi. I know I can't get dunked, which is fantastic. Uh, power plant turn one, not a big deal. Not playing any stadiums. Not playing any stadiums. And it doesn't affect me at all. Okay, so there's the spirit tomb, right? Uh, alrighty, so the Mew could also be good. Generally, the Mew could also be good. Um, I would love to find a Rowlet. Right, I would love to find a Rowlet. And I'm using one of these 50 HP Rowlets because I don't have, I didn't have a fourth of the 60 HP. And I just, I couldn't find one to trade. Right? I generally just couldn't find one to trade. Okay, I'm gonna Poke Thumb for um, the other the other Rowlet. Having two Rowlets down, I think, is um, the dream. I don't mind the energy being on the Mew because Mew could actually be a good attacker if he plays another damage counter on the Spirit Tomb. I know that all I need to do is basically KO Spirit Tombs, right? So we'll see. And which other has that trade? Um. Hide energy to re okay, Sean. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Um, I'm glad that it's um, helping you out. Okay, he goes after the Mew. Oof, that's a very nice start for him. That is definitely a very nice start for him. Okay, so getting rid of that sprint is now gonna be a little tough. Right, a little tough, but that is one boss of orders down, right? That is one boss of orders down. So only two left. All right. Very good snipe on the Mew though. Very good snipe on the Mew by him. Okay. So there's no point in evolving into the CGI just yet. I mean, uh, promoting the CGI, sorry, that's what I meant, promoting the CGI. I'm gonna go for a Rosam. I'm gonna grab the Cedar Eye, I'm gonna grab the Grass. And honestly, I feel like I grab another Rosa. Because I imagine my opponent's gonna go or take a KO, right? Yeah, I like that. I think that's okay to do. We need to be, I'm gonna evolve the 50 HP. Yeah, this is a 50 HP. We need to be careful. Um, I'm gonna bench on a Rowlet, that way I have access to like two Deciduize, pretty much. Go ahead and do this. I could set up the Sigsagoon, but I'm just gonna do this. I failed the Stella Wish Plow. Well, that's not very nice. Okay, I feel like if I set up two Deciduize, I should be able to win. We'll see. Like if I get two Deciduize fully powered up, that should run through um, enough Spirit Tombs, right? We'll see, we'll see. So far, only one Spirit Tomb down. Spirit Tomb is a double-edged sword indeed. Um, Turbo Patch, Flips Tails. I'm surprised he evolved before flipping for Turbo Patch. Maybe my opponent forgot that the Turbo Patch doesn't work on VMAX. Okay, so Jirachi is going down, and what I can do is, off of this Rosa, I can get a Sixagoon, a Scoop Up Net, and that will eliminate the Spirit Tomb. Right? Or, I could set up another DCUI. Uh, the big parcel doesn't really matter. Okay, I know my opponent has two more. Okay, so like if I do this, I'm definitely not putting the damage on this print tool. 
I feel like I need draw though. I feel like I need draw. So I'm gonna have to rose up for a supporter instead. I'm gonna grab Marty. I'm gonna grab a grass, though I'm not gonna attach it this turn. Maybe I just grab research instead. I don't care too much about my opponent's hand, I'd actually rather just get more cards. Yeah, and I'll grab the Dark Tricks. If my opponent doesn't have boss, then that gives us an easier time to access um, a second Decidio, which is what I'm going for. I will capture energy into Jirachi. I think that's useful. Although there is merit to six seconds though. If I still have all, all my scoop up nets, six seconds could be useful. I'll put that on the bench. I'll attach the big parcel, sure. And then let's go splitting arrow. And I'm gonna get, or try and get easy prizes on this. And I'll start doing some damage to Crobat. I mean, this prevents the poison from Crobat, so that's potentially very useful. We'll see. We'll see what happens here. We shall see what happens. Right. Okay, there's the second Spiritum. Does boss up my Dartrix as expected. The thing is, he needs to keep it at 20 damage, right? So they're not that big threats at the moment. Alright, that is acceptable right that's two bosses orders down um i don't feel like i should promote the Dranchi at this point like i'd rather just save the scoop of nets for six seconds and whatnot well <laughs> okay sure deck <laughs> okay so i have Knockout on a Spirit Tomb, I definitely think I should go for that. Right, eliminating a Spirit Tomb is definitely part of the plan here. I'll get rid of the switch. No, actually, I'm gonna get rid of the Rosa. I don't think I'll be needing Rosa. Chance that he has his last boss are not very high. And now we'll go like this. He has no way to pressure my bench either. He has no way to pressure my bench either. Uh, he says, oh, well, he says, well played. I'll say, well played back. The game's not over yet, but he's definitely in trouble because then this guy, whenever he comes up to attack me, he gets knocked out. He has a third spirit tomb, right? But there's also the issue that I can, like, once I knock out a Spirit Tomb, this Sixagon will also be an easy Pokemon for me to knock out. I also now threaten Rare Candy Obstagon. All our real games. Oh, there's the third boss. Okay, well, it's all down to this Decidio, I then. It is all down to this Decidio. Okay, I have a switch, so I might as well promote the Drachi. Now I regret. I definitely did not expect my opponent to have the Rosa right away. Uh, I definitely did not expect my opponent to have the Rosa right away. I'll set up my fourth Rowlet here. And then I'll still wish. I'll grab Scoop of Net. No, you know what? I'll grab the Parasol. Yeah, I'll grab the Parasol and then attach energy here, attach the Parasol, switch into the CGI, and then go for a research. All right, I get double scoop up net which is actually fantastic okay this is game over as long as i sequence this correctly this is actually game over so 10 there and i'll scoop up net the same dude okay so that spirit term is gone and then i get to do this i get to rare candy into obstacle and that's gonna be game because now he doesn't have any way to attack my Decidueye. Yeah. Crazy draw. Crazy lucky draw for me. Splitting arrow. KO both Spirit Tombs at once. I go down to three prizes and now all I need to do is 
KO that VMAX and that's gonna be the game. I don't think there's a way for my opponent to be able to do this. I drew things like very luckily in the right order. Um, like I didn't need this, but it, this just completely seals the game, right? This completely seals the game. Definitely feel like I had a, an, a big advantage right there. Definitely feel like I had a big advantage. And I'm happy. You know, I'm happy that the deck ends up working out so nicely. He he went after the Mew correctly, um, which was um, which was correct. But then you do have the scoop of nets and the rare candies into everything to make sure that you can uh, fully set up, right? So yeah, um, pretty pretty interesting match. Um, GG get wrecked. Sorry about the the bad matchup, right? Um, I guess Triple Spirit Gym just isn't quite enough. I think this is just a bad matchup for Eternatus, um, no matter what. If you're not playing the Poison Package, with the Poison Package, you have um, defense against the Zero and whatnot, because you keep poisoning it and doing damage to it that way, but without the Poison, um, it's really, really tough. Alrighty. So we're waiting for round two to get paired. Still six minutes left in the round. Tiny John, thank you so much for the follow, and Kervin Reese. Thanks so much for subscribing on YouTube. All right. So it's just a waiting game here. I wish, I don't know, like I never know what to do when I'm waiting for the next rounds to start. Like, should I play Nintendo Switch? Should I do, like, what should I do? Should I play a ladder? But then you might have to concede if the game starts like I never know what to do in between rounds all right do any of you have any questions or anything perhaps about the list perhaps about I don't know Fiona is a good anti deck out measure um, the Rowlet split is purely because I didn't have a fourth Rowlet. Oh, there you go, Antibell is like, I was just talking about. The reason, because I don't have, the reason of the Rowlet split is because I don't have a fourth 60 HP Rowlet. <laughs> and I tried going to the trade offers and I just couldn't find one, right? And now my deck list is stuck like this. So if you have a spare 60 HP Rowlet that you can donate to my channel, that would be very <laughs> appreciated. I only have three and I didn't want to trade a full pack for a for a fourth one, right? And I figured like what are the chances that this actually matters, right? What are the chances that this actually ends up mattering? I'm hoping zero, but <laughs> you never know, right? You never know, uh, but that's the reason, you know, that's the reason. I don't own a fourth Rowlet. That is the reason for the Rowlet split, right? Just like I don't own any other Mew. Um, this is also why I have Rosa split. This one's locked, and this one's locked. And Roses are expensive for some reason. And so I just, I had to trade for these. These I did get off the public trades. I didn't want to wait just in case I didn't. Um, just in case I didn't. Uh, get the cards in time. Sign the app. Thanks so much for the follow. And so, like, the biggest thing is that um, the biggest thing to me is that I hadn't been using the regular account um, because I had the demo account, right? And there was nothing official online, so I didn't need to use it. Hello, Guri Guri. Thanks so much for being here. I didn't need to use the regular account, but then all of a sudden I got invited to the Players' Cup Invitational, and then the Players' Cup happened, and now the Players' Cup too. So now, I need to keep my account updated, my regular account updated, as much as possible, which means I have to um, keep trading for stuff, right? I have to keep everything updated. And these are Unified Minds cards, uh, these are Sword and Shield cards, or actually Rebel Clash cards. No, this is Darkness of Blades. I don't know why I don't, oh, the Rowlet. The Rowlet is Unified Minds. Yeah, I was like, wait, why don't I have? Um, but yeah, that's why I don't have, I didn't have a bunch of cards, so I needed to, to do, to trade for that. Why is Rosa so expensive, Daniel? Uh, because it's a useful supporter, right? And it's hollow. Um, 
Um, Juanito sigue en número uno, Curi Curi. No, Juanito ya no está de número uno. Está, lo pasó Torres y lo pasó un americano. Pero sigue siendo el número uno de Latinoamérica. Uh, I agree. Great call for best of one. Hot couple of noodles. Just hoping not to run into a lot of fire decks or um, poison alternatives. Sandy, yeah. Did I think about Mimikyu? I did think about Mimikyu. Um, but I don't think Muse 3 is using Kelio GX. I think it's more likely that they have Mock Mock, which you can protect from with the Big Pressel, and that they use Greninja GX. Greninja GX is a much better answer than Kelio GX's Sonic Edge. Um, so, I did think about the Mimikyu, but um, from what I've seen, against Mew 3, all you need to worry about is um, the poison from Mock Mock, so that's why we have the big parasols here. Um, I also can't stand having like these. Uh, so if anyone is willing to trade me a uh, foil rosas instead of for reverse foils, because these are trade locked, right? These are trade locked. Um, I wish I didn't have three different arts of this. <laughs> I also wish I had a fourth rowlet. Um, so eh, Daniel sí, lo pasó un americano y lo pasó Torres. Eh, entonces, o sea, ya no es ya no es el número uno global, pero es el número uno de Latinoamérica. Torres es el número uno de Europa y el americano es el número uno de Norteamérica. Yeah, like. If they have it, they have it, you know? If they have Kelder, they have Greninja, then they have it. But usually, from what I've seen, they're more concerned about other stuff than beating the c i Obstagoon. Okay. Ooh, we're up against Joao. So, dual of the... Um, dual of the Latin American players, right? Joao is one of the top-ranked American... A top ranked Latin American players from last season, so was I. He's a really good uh, person as well, he's a really cool guy. So it's pretty interesting that we are up against him. Uh, so this is a very high uh, profile matchup, I guess, in the LATAM duel. Now, he is playing ADP and he is playing one Oranguru, so we're gonna have to deal with that Oranguru in order to win this match. Nothing else can touch the TDI. Um, if we set up Obstagoon, however, uh, we just win. So that's also something to consider. But his only answer to the CDI is Obstagoon. So as long as we get rid of Oranguru, we should, we should be able to win. All right. So there's JP Wizard 07. I'll wish him good luck in Portuguese. <laughs> Dicho Juan, muchas gracias, muchas gracias. ¿Desde dónde me ves? ¿Desde dónde me ves? <laughs> Antebelli, thank you so much, that's very kind of you. That's very kind of you. We lose the coin flip. We lose the coin flip, we wish him good luck. Okay. So, I'm gonna start Rowlet. He doesn't have any way to attack my hand. I just need to set up obstacle, right? So I'm hoping my other six second is not priced. <laughs> bueno, pero de, de, de qué parte eres, me refiero. <laughs> de qué parte eres. Uh, yes, Hot Cup of Noodles. Champions Path has been legal in all the online tournaments since the very beginning. You know, since the very, very beginning, since it came out. And Velociraptor, hello, thanks so much for being here. Thank you so much. For being here. <clears throat> mm -hmm. All right. So only an ADP bench. Ooh, my gosh. That is a very nice card to get. Okay. So I do need to attack, right? I don't need this. So do I need to set up a Jirachi? Okay. Uh, the other Sixagon is here. Okay, yeah, so setting up um, setting up Sixagon is not quite just enough, right? I also need to have a clear bench. Okay, so yeah, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna pick up the Rowlet. And then I'll bench this Sixagon. I'll go ahead and Stellar Wish, 
Ooh, I have research, nice. So all I'll be needing is essentially the dark energy, right? So based on how he played, I have to assume, like he doesn't have an explosive hand, right? I want to assume that my zigzagoon will live perfect. Okay, that research is all we need. That research is absolutely all we need. He also goes down on two bosses orders. Oh no, well this is, no, actually what I need is my dark energy now. What I need is my dark energy and or another six second. I need my dark energy or another six second. There's the Oranguru, right? There's the Oranguru. Oh, it wasn't legal for that? Ah, okay, I, I actually wasn't aware. Ooh, if he doesn't get the water. Oh, wow, he doesn't get the water. So we have a free turn, essentially. Now we get a free turn. Okay. So, oh my god, what? I just top deck. Francisco, thanks so much for the follow. Okay, I'm getting all the luck that I haven't gotten in a long time right now. What the heck? I just got incredibly, incredibly lucky. I just got incredibly lucky. If I find a switch, I just went out. Oh, no switch. No switch, no. No switch, okay. Um. No switch for me. No switch for me yet. Uh, okay, I'm gonna use Fion to Whirlpool suction him back and try and mess with him. Now he knocks out my obstacle and I'm in trouble. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, uh, he does not, he does play, mo oh, he does play more well. Yeah, that's true. He does play more well. Um... I could have used dry. Yeah, I could have used quick ball, but one card. Like if I just made my board this guy, I had a very good chance, right? So, like sending one card, I don't know. I don't know what to do here. <sighs> He's down two bosses orders as well. Let's just bench this guy. Ugh. Yeah, because now like with these thirty damage. Now, Orangru doesn't threaten my Decido, I guess. Yeah, so setting up Decido right now makes makes sense. We're really lucky. Okay, we're really lucky that my opponent missed out on the uh, GX attack, right? We need to play around Mowile. We need to play around Mowile if we can. Yeah, so I, yeah, I definitely needed to, like, if he got a KO right there. Oh, wow, he doesn't find the water again. What? What is happening right now? What is actually happening? He's down three bosses orders. So that makes my bench a little bit safer. It makes my, my bench a little bit safer. Um, so I just go for the Sigzagun here. No, I'll go for the Mew and I'll just Marty here. Okay, please just get me a switch. I want to start applying pressure. I'm getting extremely, extremely lucky here. Wow. Okay, no energy is sad though. No energy is sad, but not the end of the world. Um, I definitely want to grab the Rosa, I would say. I don't need the parasol for anything, right? So back-to-back -back Rosas just in case he throws like mobile and stuff so I can find scoop up nets. That's that's what I need, right? He can't, okay, I think we've won this now. I believe we have won this now. Oh well, no, not quite. Okay, I'll just obstruct. I'm not sure, <laughs> I'm not sure. He's down to one boss though. That has to be so huge. Does he have double water prized? I don't know. He plays four energy spinner and two waters. There's the water finally for him. He's down three bosses orders though. 
Okay, so that energy, like I'm tempted. I am tempted to evolve into the Zero Eye and attach an energy. I think, okay, this, I think this is my plan. Okay, this is my plan. I'm gonna bench the Jirachi and I'm going to set up the Zero Eye, okay? Because then maybe he gets baited into attacking my um, my Jirachi and if he goes like boss on the Zero Eye to try and buy himself some time, like whenever he gets a knockout that activates Rosa and either I scoop up net this guy and hopefully discard it or something, or um, I find the grass and then the CDO I just wins. And he also has to decide whether he wants Mowal or Eldegoss, I guess. Okay. So I'm really hoping he goes after Jirachi here. Yeah, grabs the boss. If he goes after the CDO I, that might actually be a problem. Maybe I shouldn't have evolved. I should have attached, but maybe I shouldn't have evolved. Okay, no, he goes after Jirachi, so the bait works, right? The bait does work. Okay, he powers up Eldegoss in order to recycle boss. So, yeah, I should go into Obstagoon. Wow, three roses. <laughs> I'll play the full art, I guess. Um, okay, so I'll grab the grass and then I will grab switch. I think that seems solid. And then for the Pokemon, I'll just grab this so that I can't get more wild. Right? Make sure I hit Guru once. Well, Guru is in range of both now, though. Both hit for 90. So, I mean, these are my six prizes, though. Right? These are probably my six prizes. So he can't go boss K on the C2I. He can no longer, like, I don't know. We just need to not draw basic Pokemon that he can uh, boss his orders. Yeah. No, I when I evolve the Obstagoon, that's where I place the 30 uh, to make sure that it's in range, right? So the Oranguru is not a threat anymore because he two shots me and I KO him after the 30 damage. Yeah, exactly. I think with Obstagoon, indeed, the ping on the on the um, the ping of the Sixagoon, I think, was on ADP. That's why it has 190 instead of 180. Um, could have also gotten. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I actually that that might be better because I don't need the switch, right? Yeah, grabbing Quick Ball might have been better. It's not an auto win, Saint Yap, yeah, because they have mobile, right? And Shade plays Fortnite, thanks so much. Thanks so much for um, being here. I appreciate it. Okay. Promotes to the Dene, so it gives me that prize card. So I'm just gonna obstruct, right? Yeah. Just gonna obstruct. He knows I have Switch, so I get two prizes. Hopefully, no basic Pokemon. No basic Pokemon. Great. Great, great, great. Great, 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 great. I don't see anything in his list that can hurt us at this point anymore. All he can do is tank hits, right? All he can do is tank hits. I should have a, I should have grabbed a quick ball though, you're right. Instead of the switch, I should have grabbed a quick ball. The thing is like, I didn't want him to go boss on the Decidui and for me to have to retreat. Okay, yes, let's go. That's game over. That is game over. That is absolutely game over. No more mobile. There we go. <sighs> nice. Okay.